first time chat scrubble scrub lord 1963 how high do you think the fed will raise interest rates when will they bulk and start lowering them again um how high do i think is they're going to raise it uh, a good question it really depends on what's going on geopolitically and domestically politically domestically because the fed is really uh, a bunch of oligarchs bunch of technocrats a uh, bunch of power hungry establishments and individuals that want to control society so they're looking at all the data coming in and they're trying to manipulate things right they're trying to basically acquire as much as they can as fast as they can without the population rising up and beheading them right so it's a fine dance right the war drums are beating so if the war drums are beating they can't raise it too fast because the war drums are beating in times of war you don't see bankers putting pressure on the society that's going to war or instigating war right so that's one way the war drums are one way they're trying to say oh you know rationalize not raising interest rates right the stock market is another variable in play where as soon as they say we want to raise interest rates the stock market crashes so they go oh we can't raise interest rates because the stock market is crashing right it really depends if the people rise if the people rise then they will and they are rising they will raise interest rates faster than not to crush the people right to bankrupt companies so the fed is using interest rate manipulation right to basically control society as you know as i know as anybody with an ounce of intelligence knows right so the reason i'm saying it's a good question and we really don't know because there's so many variables in play right now so many variables in play right now i can tell you what family has done in regards to wall street because wall street stock equities and different types of investment really depend on interest rate what the fed does with the interest rate right so about three weeks ago four weeks ago or for the last few months actually i've mentioned that family was buying puts in certain stocks you know we did it for a few of them moderna twitter certain stocks uh, uh lululemon etsy uh doordash we bought family bought puts on certain stocks but around two weeks ago i believe and we did a current uh, events live stream i mentioned that now if you know you 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 follow the markets uh you know what i'm about to say is whoa they did what but family uh on wall street in terms of equities right two weeks ago it took about a week to do this two weeks ago they or they i'm gonna say they two three weeks ago positioned the portfolio with 45 percent of the portfolio being in puts okay you won't find too many people that do this kind of maneuver right so it was 45 percent in puts okay it was a good play because a lot of things crumbled right in the last week the family switched their position pulled out blew out some of the put positions which did well in the payouts right blew out some of the put positions and now the family is only 10 to 15 percent puts and is more long than short okay there's some calls in play as well so my guess is that the stock market is going to do another boom pop up all right this is my guess this is, seriously take this with a gigantic grain of salt i think the market is about to do a pop up if it doesn't there's a 10 to 15 percent put position where no matter what it goes down it'll cover the long positions right but i think it's going to go up for a few days to a few weeks 
right? And that will be the excuse for uh, the Fed to raise interest rates to a certain degree. But I think they will most likely stop raising interest rates one, once either the market collapses or when a war, not necessarily Ukraine, Eastern Europe or whatnot, a war kicks into gear, right? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It could go, if, if, I, if I was going to give you two choices, it could just be 50 basis points and halt, or it could go up to uh, 2 to 3% in a year, year and a half. Okay, basically kicking up the rates, either 50 or 25 basis points, uh, five or six times, let's say. Okay, four to six times. Adjust the portfolios accordingly.